welcome to Poland Daily Culture. I'm Polina Otterstein. And I'm John Carter. And today we're here at the Linen Museum in Zharadov. Join us as we find out exactly why this was one of the premier factories during the industrial period. The museum was created five years ago, so how did it change over the course of years? Were there any significant changes? Are you planning some in the future? Are there any new projects? The museum is like you see here, like you come here, you see, you see how it looks. But at the moment, I think it's like we were in a museum in 1900. Currently, the museum is what it is, the way you can see it here. In comparison to what I found here five years ago, it's like a five-star hotel. We have a very, very long road ahead of us, although every day is a step forward and we're improving something in accordance to my 10-year plan. First, we improve one hole, we prepare the exhibition and conduct repairs, and then we move on to the second hole, and the third, fourth, fifth, tenth, and so on. When we first started, though, we had a difficult time repairing the leaking roof, electricity, fire escape system, and so on. Nonetheless, we managed to overcome these difficulties, and now we are focusing on exhibitions, on the history. But the Linen Factory Museum is not only its exhibits. For me, the museum should serve as a center for various initiatives, encouraging people to take part in them. We want to include the former employees of the Linen Factory in Zhradov, with whom we we can still talk, hear their stories and even see them work. Although they are mostly older, retired people, we want to include them so the professions of this place, like the master, weaver, etc., weren't forgotten. We will never again have such experience which they can give us. Apart from that, the Linn Factory Museum is a place where various concerts, festivals and other cultural events take place. With our 5,000 square meters of space, we organize different happenings. For example, in the coming weekend, train model hobbyists from all over Poland are coming here and they will be reconstructing 200 meters of model train tracks with various landscapes, tunnels and such. Recently we had Mr. Jaromir Nohavica give a concert here. There are lots and lots of events that we organize here. In September this year we will be welcoming young guests from Japan who will be giving lessons on painting kimonos. One such event will also take place in Warsaw's Łazienki Park and the other will take place here, along with traditional Japanese tea making lessons. So the Linen Factory Museum isn't only about the exhibits and history, but also about life, and that's what I want this place to be. Outside, I also saw that one of the attractions are live animals. What kind of animals are there? On the terrain, on the terrain of the museum, there is a project called the Industrial Zagrod. Yes, next to the museum there is the industrial farm project. We have some Zhradov pets there, for example the camels of Stash and Nell or spotted donkeys, which is quite interesting since I don't think there are any spotted donkeys somewhere else in Poland. This type originates from Sicily. They are named Lozik and Zvirek because they came to us from the Czech Republic, hence the names. Apart from that we have alpacas, reindeer, the smallest type of sheep in the world from France and miniature goats. All the animals are domesticated and used to our environment. Maybe even too much since I was recently asked by the Poland's Got Talent show if we wouldn't borrow a few goats after someone recorded them jumping and walking on spools. I need to think on that though. The Museum of Linen has its headquarters in one of the post-industrial buildings of Bielnik, which was once part of the production complex of the Gerardo factory. The monumental post-industrial spaces of the Linen Museum in Gerardov are closely related to the more than 180-year tradition of the linen industry. The building once housed a branch of the Gerardov printing house of the linen works, which by the end of 19th century had become the most powerful flax factory in Europe at that time, and the products were known and valued all over the world. The building of the museum's headquarters is a historic object 
part of a 19th century factory settlement in Gerardów. Recognized as a historical monument, that is the highest form of monument protection in Poland. I also wanted to ask you about the weaving techniques. Are there many of them? I've seen some machinery when we walked here and one of the employees even showed us how to operate them. Generalnie podzielić na jakby dwie, dwie technologie produkcji mater, tkaniny lnianej. Znaczy ta prosta, ta prosta, prosta gładka, tkanina żakardowa, która ma ten... Generally there are two ways to produce linen fabric. The easier smooth fabric and the so-called jacquard fabric with various patterns and colors. At the Gerardo factory both the simple and jacquard weaving techniques were used. Later the jacquard looms were colorful on their own, so they didn't need to be decorated, but the smooth fabric did, and that's why the screen printing was introduced since the 1960s. Here behind me is the big the biggest screen printing machine in Poland, which came here in the 60s. At the time it was the most advanced printer of this type in Europe. It could print a 16-color image on a piece of fabric, which at that time was an incredible achievement. Back then the offset wasn't used but the screen printing, meaning the paint was pouring in the color that was needed, it didn't mix on the fabric, so the color had to be created by the producer. Going back to the Jacquard fabric, the Linen Factory Museum recently bought the last machine park in Poland with Jacquard looms. They are Sora looms with the entire equipment. There are 16 looms laid out in force, it looks really pretty. The city's museum will be creating a small manufacture here for the Linen Factory Museum's use and for a little shop will be setting up here, but the most important thing is to save it all. Our duty is to do everything and we are doing everything to prevent this place from being sold. If not for the museum, these machines would be thrown away or sold, since they can't really be used for mass production, only for limited, slow work, so we could show to our visitors how linen fabric was once made. Nonetheless, quite soon, we will be producing jacquard fabric. Tkanin żakardowych. Dziękuję panu bardzo. Dziękuję bardzo. Thank you very much for joining us here at Poland Daily Culture from the Linen Museum in Gerardów. I'm John Carter. And I'm Polina Otterstein and see you again tomorrow.